Good morning, children. How are you all? Today, let us study about the law and social justice. You know that in our country, people they need justice. What is the function of this justice? Uh, to provide justice to the people. The government. What is the aim of the government? Uh, government provides safety to the people. If government want to provide safety to the people, justice should be implemented in our country. Then only we can say that our country practice justice. You know that the three organs are there. Which are the three organs? Sir? Which are the three bodies or three organs? Sir? Legislative, executive, and judicial. Who will take part in this justice? Sir? Judiciary. Judiciary will check whether these things are going in a proper and better manner. That is, that who will make sure this judiciary, judiciary always focus whether the justice that is existing in our country or not. That is the duty of judiciary. Judiciary always will function and always will check whether our state functions function it in a justifiable manner, in a justifiable manner, in order to provide safety and security to the people. The court that will be functioning, that is the part of judiciary. Which are the three courts are there? Which are the main three courts in our country? You know it will be the apex court, which is the apex court, the supreme court, that is the apex court. After that supreme court, you know that high court, then district courts are there. So other than, uh, below the district courts, there are different local courts are there. So you know that the uh, supreme court that has been called as the apex court, it is the supreme court, the apex court uh, in our country, that is the supreme court. So you should understand that in order to provide justice to the people, uh, the court will function in a better and proper manner. So what was the duty of this court? Uh, to ensure justice to the people, to, to ensure justice to the people, to ensure social justice to the people, so, to ensure social justice to the people or the society. Social justice here means uh, to make uh, justice to all sections of the people that we can call it as social justice. So that our government uh, always focus on the social justice of the people. At the same time, the judiciary always focus on whether that the social justice that is going in a proper and in better manner. Suppose if that is in, a, in our country, if uh, suppose in our country there exists anarchy or any kinds of corruption or any kinds of things that happens, uh, this court will interfere the case. You studied about the Mandal Commission report. When you studied about the Mandal Commission report, you know that the Supreme Court interfered about this uh, matter. This is a social issue. So that the Supreme Court uh, that interfered the matter and the problem uh, solved. That uh, redressal of that issues, issues that redressal or that uh, problem that will be solved. So that uh, these court can interfere whether it will be it will it will badly affect the society, definitely the court will interfere. If Kerala government, if any wrong things that happens or if they act against the constitution or the government fun are functioned, definitely the high court will interfere. The high court will interfere, sometimes the high court will uh, give warning, sometimes the uh, uh, high court will um, uh, give advice to the government that uh, this is not this mark functioning and it is not going to the proper order. It is not going to the proper order as per the constitution. So the government should function as per the constitution. What the constitution says that the government should uh, practice. That is that then the government uh, is practicing social justice. You know that in our country the contract is uh, business persons and private companies. Private companies, you know that private companies, the contractors and business persons, uh, sometimes they may exploit the workers, sometimes they may exploit the workers. If they exploit the workers, if these sections of the society, private companies, contractors, then business persons, uh, if they exploit the workers, definitely that is against uh, social justice, that is against uh, social justice, that is against no doubt that that is against uh, social justice. So, the private companies and contractors or business persons, if they exploit the workers for what purpose? For profit, uh, if they exploit the workers for profit, uh, definitely 
definitely the, the, the social justice is no denying them, denying the social justice, deny their wages, deny exploiting them. Definitely that is against the constitution. What the constitution says that uh, provide social security and social justice to all sections of the society. That is the motto of our constitution. Constitution wants to provide social justice to the people. That uh, if that is not functioning, the judiciary will interfere. Judiciary, the you know that the institutions of the judiciary are uh, courts, uh, especially if, uh, we can say that Supreme Court, High Court. Uh, then you know that these three courts are there. So this and if any problems happen to the state government, I mean that we are not stable for the other, so that will definitely the high court will end up. If it is that in the national level, if that will affect uh, uh, affect definitely that the uh, Supreme Court will end up there. Supreme Court will end up there. That is, Supreme Court may say that uh, this is malfunction. So that uh, to ensure the social security that this court is functioning. The court is a part of judiciary. That is a part of judiciary. So, but you think one thing that uh, that the uh, uh, executive judiciary, you know, the legislative, executive, and judiciary that will go uh, hand in hand. It means that the uh, uh, judiciary is not about uh, not about the uh, not about the executive. Executive is not about the legislative. It means that the police, that we can call it the checks and balance. Checking, checking their power and balancing it. That we can call it the checks and their balance. So judiciary will function in a better and proper manner. If any kind of malfunction that happened in our country, definitely judiciary will interfere and to, and to ensure social security in our country. If these sections of the people, especially the private companies, contractors, and the business persons, if they exploit the poor workers for profit by delaying their wages, by delaying their wages, or not paying their not paying properly, not paying the properly, or not giving the minimum wages, not giving the minimum wages as they require. As they require the minimum wages, if they deny it, if they exploit it, or if they deny their wages, definitely that is social injustice. That is nothing but a social injustice. What is the uh, what is the uh, function of our government to provide social security, social justice to the people, so that uh, the government as well as our judiciary will check the whether uh, the private right companies they are exploiting the uh, poor people or the workers. If such kinds of things will happen, sir, definitely, definitely judiciary can interfere. The judiciary can interfere and so that they will get minimum wages. So that they will get minimum wages. So denying of the minimum wages that is against social justice. That is against social justice. You know, there are different laws are to protect the workers. In order to protect workers, there are a lot of that implemented in our country. You know that low to minimum wage, first you want low to minimum wage. So that each and every every worker they will get the minimum, at least they will get the minimum wage at all. They will get the minimum wages. If they are not getting minimum wages, it means that uh, some private companies or contractors or you know that business person definitely they are exploiting because they need they need and they deserve they they deserve that amount because at least they will get the minimum wages. At least they will get the minimum wages. If they are not paid, unpaid or not paid, if they are delaying delaying their wages, if they if these private companies or contractors or business people business person deny their wages for profit, definitely that is social injustice. So that uh, so that the government will interfere or that uh, that kind of judiciary also will interfere because the law what the law says uh, the law says that at least they will get the minimum wages. Therefore, the the law to minimum wages will be a minimum wages. At least they will get the minimum wages. Next, you know that uh, fair wages should be provided by the companies. If if a company that will work uh, definitely they must give fair wages. They must give fair wages to the workers. 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 Moreover, they need all kinds of infrastructure. Accommodation should be in a better and proper manner. Many companies, uh, 
they establish in our country many multinational multinational corporations they establish the companies in india and they exploited the poor workers and they are not getting uh, not getting proper living conditions they are not getting proper living conditions it means that they are exploiting they are exploiting the poor workers that is against this law what the law says that at least they will get the loan to minimum wages uh, first of all and they must get company should provide fair wages to them next thing is that these people these workers they are working in the hazard of work they are engaged in engaged in the activities of uh, dangerous work they are engaged in the dangerous work you know that they are working with these machines when they are working these machines they must have all precautionary measures all safety measures all safety measures should be provided to them uh, the, the law provides law uh, what the law says that uh, provide safety safety to men uh, provide safety measures to these people uh, they have to work in the work in the factories uh, with uh, with within safety manner with safety manner so safety measures uh, should be given to the workers in the working areas the work areas there so there will be safety uh, safety measures that will be implemented what are the safety measures uh, uh, the companies or this private uh, private companies or contractors or business persons so they can implement the, in their companies and definitely they can implement the all safety measures uh, like uh, you know that the fire extinguisher that is very essential fire extinguisher or uh, gloves uh, then the helmets uh, and other uh, safety uh, safety dress materials that will be provided to this uh, workers uh, and they must live in the uh, live in the good accommodation <coughs> they must get a good <coughs> accommodation and they must get a good accommodation if they are getting good accommodation only they can work the, they can work properly because they will be free from the diseases otherwise what will happen epidemics uh, epidemics may affect them epidemics may affect definitely epidemics may affect to these sections of the people workers if uh, if workers living condition is poor they are not getting proper sanitation they are not getting proper uh, proper accommodation they are not getting proper wages and they are not providing any safety measures definitely they are not able to deal with if they do not have much health and they can't work in the factories definitely that is lost to the private companies but they never they neglect the these all these things and they are not giving uh, proper uh, sanitation facilities they are not providing uh, accommodation proper accommodation good accommodation to them what will that badly affect the workers definitely that badly affect the workers so that the law what the law says that the law says that you know, to minimum wages and the workers they get fair wage and more often they get the safety measures in the work areas they will get all kinds of safety measures in the work areas the work areas they will get all safety measures safety gloves and other equipments and more over the fire extinguisher or all the facilities then uh, all Uh, what are the things needed for uh, protecting their life that should be implemented in the factory so that they can work freely without any fear they can work if any uh, any kinds of accidents that happened them for fire or any other uh, kinds of accidents happens all of a sudden there, there will be uh, the recovery activities or there will be that the fire extinguisher or anything will be applied all of a sudden uh, applied and like that so that what is needed safety measures is necessary so that safety measures is needed necessary next they need a good accommodation you know that the workers they need a good accommodation good accommodation is very essential for them otherwise what will happen sir if they are not providing good accommodation definitely that will affect their health epidemics may occur to these people see poor and hygienic situations definitely they, they will be infected with the diseases once they will be infected with the diseases that will spread to all the workers but actually this will spread to all the workers definitely that affect body affect their health that body affect their health then how they will work in the factories so they need a good health for that they need good accommodation they need good accommodation to maintain their health they need a good accommodation to maintain their health so what are the measures that the company or private companies or business people or the contractors what they will do they must provide good accommodation to them they must uh, they, uh, they will be alert to safety measures they will be much aware of the safety measures they will implement the safety uh, safety equipment
improvements uh, in the working areas, in the work areas. Moreover, uh, the workers will get a fair wages. Workers, they will get a fair wages. Then only, then only these factories, uh, factory workers, they can, they, they will get a social justice. They will get a social justice. First of all, once again, listen. Uh, so, private companies, contractors, business persons, they never exploited the workers. If suppose if they exploit the workers for profit, for what purpose they exploit them? They exploit for profit. If they exploit these people, these workers for profit, definitely that is against social justice. That is against social justice. So uh, they, they never deny these private companies or contractors or business places. They never deny their wages. They never, they, they never neglect their uh, salaries. They never neglect their salary. They will get a proper salary. They will get a proper wages. They will get a safety message. They will get a all kinds of uh, facilities that I mean that good accommodation should be provided them. Good accommodation they, uh, should be provided them. So that once again I will tell that uh, social justice, why hearing itself social justice, you know, under, try to understand that uh, they will in workers, in workers they were denied of uh, denied of their wages or not paying paying um, paying money to them, not paying money to them, or they are not getting any kind of safety issues, uh, or they are not getting good accommodation, it means that uh, they were they were not getting social justice. Social to ensure social justice. That is very important. That is very important. If these com private companies uh, or contractors or business persons uh, they are not providing social justice to these workers, uh, definitely the judiciary can interfere. Definitely, if they complain, definitely judiciary can interfere. So that they will get prayer uh, wages, they will get all kinds of safety machines, they will get good accommodation. So that uh, they, they will be they can uh, they will be safeguarded by the government uh, or we can say they will be safeguarded by judiciary. Judiciary will protect them. So next we we want to know about the uh, they, these workers, not only these workers, all sections of the workers, proletariat, all working sections of the even peasants, uh, even peasants, uh, the, uh, even traders, uh, the peasants, uh, even uh, traders, uh, producers, uh, producers, uh, consumers, uh, workers, uh, all these sections should be protected. All these sections, uh, these producers, uh, they will be protected, consumers, they will be protected, workers, they will be protected. So that uh, these people will be protected. Producers never exploit the consumers. Consumers, uh, 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 consumers, if they are not getting any kind of justice, uh, they can go to consumer court. They can go to consumer court and they can file file a case against uh, the producers. So because uh, because they were exploited by the producers. So, so to provide social justice, that is very important in our country. But uh, you know that uh, many, many many sections of the people, civil producers, uh, these sections of the people, they are always exploiting the poor workers. They are always exploiting the poor workers. So the producers, they never exploit the workers. The consumer, they will get the satisfaction from their uh, what they purchase. What they purchase, they will get a satisfaction. Producers, they never exploit. At the same time, consumers will get a satisfaction. At the same time, workers, they will get a fair wage, they will get a safety, they will, they will get a safety measures, or they will get a good accommodation. They will get a good accommodation. So that, you know that, this all this. The producers, consumers and workers, these are all interrelated. Producers, consumers and workers, they are interrelated. The workers, they produce, they produce goods, sir. Workers, they produce goods, so that will, that, that will be, that will get this producer. The producer always depend on the workers. Workers, what they produce, that will get this producer. And producers will be uh, selling it to the consumer. And producer will uh, sell these items to the consumer. So the consumer, consumer get the satisfaction. What does the consumer need? Consumer always need the satisfaction. Consumer always need the satisfaction. If consumer is giving the satisfaction, it means that they are delaying of social justice. It means that they were delaying of social justice. So, these three sections of the papers, they are very important. 
rules and learning is important at the same time consumer is important at the same time market is also important it means interrelated producer consumer and market they are interrelated they are interrelated and we can't neglect the importance of producer consumer and market but normally what will happen is you know that producers are always exposed to the market producers are always exposed to the market for profit that is the interest of social justice so that judiciary can interfere the court can interfere and so that they will get the fair wage they will get the car kind of certificates they will get good accommodation they will get good accommodation good accommodation is very essential why because they will be they can live in the in a healthy surroundings they can live and they can work in the factory so that they can work in the factory if healthy wishes is there they can work in the factory without any fear because any kind of any kind of uh, danger danger may happen sir due to safety measures they can recover from that uh, kinds of uh, difficulty so that is very essential next we want to know about the rank agitation is another law that protect the protect the people so protect the workers you know that is right like this exploitation right like this exploitation is very important right like this exploitation so that you, you know that in our country many weaker sections are there in our country many weaker sections are there many sections of the people they are weak in the society uh, so that they want to live this weaker section or the poor sections of the people they are downtrodden sections of the people they want to live in the society not only rich people not only the powerful society powerful powerful in the powerful in the society they, uh, even this poor people even this weaker sections of the people they want to live in the society they want to live in the society if they want to live in the society that has to be protected if the law uh, law that will be protected them then only they can live freely they can live independently they can live independently they can live freely they can live freely and they can live independently if there there will be a law to law to protect these sections of the people there will be a law to protect these lower sections of the people down trodden sections of the people then only they can live freely otherwise they have a fear they have a havoc or they have a fear about the about the rich people so they think that the rich people are always exploited they are influential in the society they are they are powerful in the rich people they are powerful in the society they are uh, they are influential in the society uh, so that they may think like that only definitely they may think like that only so that their mind and their soul of fear but that what the law says uh, the law says that uh, right to against exposure that is our fundamental right you know that uh, our fundamental that is our fundamental right. nobody can exploit you if you belongs to weaker section if you belongs to lower section if you belongs to downtrodden section that you never mean that that you mean that uh, that, uh, that uh, never think that uh, although lower sections of the people downtrodden sections of the people we can exploit them no what the law says or what the fundamental right says uh, right against exploitation nobody can exploit the poor sections of the society so that no protect these uh, lower sections of the people the poor sections of the people down downtrodden sections of the people so that they can live Freely, so that they can live freely. The whole constitution of fundamental rights, right? Uh, what are fundamental rights? Are you know, right? Are like the fundamental rights to protect these downtrodden sections in the society? Downtrodden sections in the society. But so that is that is the law. That is the fundamental rights, right? And this is exploitation. Next, we want to know that right against child labour. We know that many children. They are there. They many children. They work in the factories. You know that working in factories that is hazardous one. You know that working in the factories that is hazardous one. Hazardous one here means dangerous one. So children, if they engage in these factory work, definitely, definitely, children will engage in the factory work. That is definitely, definitely dangerous to their life. At any time, at any time, they are. At any time, accident may happen, sir. At any time, any any kinds of that is a risk. You know, the children they are working in the factory. That is a risk. Moreover, what the what the law says, sir, the the law says, right? Child labor, right? That means child labor says that children below fourteen years of age, children they below they below fourteen years of age, children below fourteen years of age. children below 40 years of age they won't do work in the factories they never do work in the factories children below 40 years of age they now never work in the factories that is totally banned by uh, by the uh, by our government why our government banned the children from this hazardous work 
because the, these works are very very dangerous work if they engage in these activities sometimes uh, sometimes uh, accident may happen children can't survive moreover safety even in that is second is that is second is child labor that is child labor nothing but child labor the child labor that is what we bar in our country so children below 14 years of age they never do hazardous or dangerous work in the factory children below 14 years of age they never engage in hazardous work Sort of work, definitely that will be risk of their life, that will be risk of them. So to protect these children from these kinds of work, the new law, the new uh, the law will there will be a law. What is that law? Right and next child labor. Right and next child labor. It means that 14 years below 14 years of age, children they were born to do such kinds of work, such kinds of work. So next is the, the law that protects the Laws to protect the environment. You know that uh, this law protect the environment also. So you know that uh, sometimes some people they will be uh, unaware about the importance of environment. If we are living in the, in our earth, if we are living in our earth, it is our duty to protect the environment. It is our duty to protect the environment. You know that in Kerala, especially in Kerala, both sides of the roads, uh, even in that is against the that is against the environment that we are we are polluting the environment we are polluting the environment what the law says the law says to protect the environment it is our responsibility to protect the environment each and every individual they must protect the environment never pollute the environment so that if anybody will do these kinds of pollution if they will do these kinds of pollution, that is against the that is against the constitution. What the constitution says, sir? We want to protect the environment. We want because we are living in this in our this is our habitat. This is the, it is our duty to protect our environment. It is our duty to protect our environment. Many multinational companies, you know that many multinational companies when they establish when they establish their company in India, that can they do not take Precautionary measures that you don't take any kinds of safety measures. Many more, for example, the best example, the best example, Union Carbide Company. Union Carbide Company, that is an American company, Union Carbide Company, that established in our, in our Bhopal, that is the company that was established in Bhopal, they did not take any precautionary measures, they did not take any safety measures. They did not take any safety measures, they did not take any precautionary measures. So what will happen so due, to, due to this, what happens so when there is a leakage of the gas uh, that, uh, that happens. Many people, many workers, they lost their, lost their life. Many workers, they lost their life. Due to the Union Carbide Company, that was an American company. This American company that they established uh, uh, their company in Bhopal, when the gas leakage that uh, happened, uh, that affected, affected many people, many people they lost their life. That become a great tragedy. That, that uh, tragedy is called as Gopal Gas Tragedy. The Gopal Gas Tragedy that happened, uh, the Union Carbide Company, they, uh, they said that it is not our responsibility. First they said that uh, that is not our responsibility. But uh, the government interfered uh, and they argued for, uh, argued for the safety of the people. They argued the safety of the people, uh, that uh, many years after they decided to be compensation for these uh, workers. They decided to be compensation for these workers. Though, so uh, you know that uh, whose responsibility is that uh, these kinds of uh, gas leakage that happens, uh, whose responsibility? That is the responsibility of that uh, company. Why? Because if, if any company, any multinational corporation, they establish companies in India, they must take certain uh, precautionary measures. They must provide proper accommodation, good accommodation, proper accommodation in that uh, good infrastructure. Good infrastructure and good facilities should be provided to the market. Second, uh, safety, all safety measures should be taken, all safety measures should be taken by resolution and all safety measures should be taken. And if, uh, if any gas leakage uh, or anything that happens, uh, all of us have taken all the precautionary measures. Uh, so, but this Union Carbide Company, they neglect the importance of safety measures. Uh, they are in what was their aim? Profit. Profit. That company, their Union Carbide Company, they focused on profit. 
that is profit motive company that is profit motive company that is the reason this gas leakage happened many many people they lost many workers they lost their life they lost their life it become a great tragedy that tragedy that we can call it as bopal gas tragedy that we can call it as bopal gas tragedy why this happens sir safety measures were taken and no protective measures that was sir uh, not implemented any protective measures measures that the that the not implemented in that the oil carpet company that is that is why these kinds of uh, incident uh, happens so the last one we discuss about that last two laws to protect the environment laws that will be protect the environment there laws that will be when once all people should remember that it's our duty it's our responsibility to protect the environment rather than dumping waste materials looking around nobody has seen so dumping waste materials uh, on the roadside that is uh, that is uh, against uh, that is uh, that we are polluting the environment that is polluting the environment we want to live in a healthy atmosphere we want to live in a healthy uh, uh, healthy environment we want to live in a healthy environment uh, if we are living in this uh, uh, these kinds of uh, and uh, hygienic hygienic situation or these kinds of uh, polluted situation definitely we will occur diseases so to avoid such uh, kinds of things uh, we never pollute the environment it is our duty and responsibility to protect the environment that is why many schools they establish the eco club many schools they establish the eco club what is the aim of this eco club to protect our environment there so next thing you know that access to pollution free environment each and every individual they should be free from pollution free environment due to pollution many diseases that may happen many diseases that happen due to pollution many diseases uh, in our country that happen to pollution you know very well in the world that which is the most polluted city which is the most polluted city in india delhi delhi the capital of our country delhi that is the most polluted city why this happens uh, due to the emission due to the emission of this uh, carbon monoxide due to the emission of these uh, vehicles vehicles uh, they uh, emit these kinds of gases uh, these uh, uh, gases that produce uh, this uh, city uh, that polluted the city polluted many people they got diseases lungs uh, they got affected their lungs many people they uh, the need due to this uh, uh, air pollution they got lungs and they got different kinds of problems related to lungs and they that affected their lungs that affected the affected their lungs so we want to live in our earth free from pollution that is access pollution free environment being a citizen of india we will have to we have to access pollution free environment there so next we want to know right to healthy environment right to healthy environment each and every individuals in our country they need a healthy environment there Okay, how do we can access this healthy environment we never pollute the and if we pollute the environment then definitely that badly affect the health of the people next here right to life as a part of right you know that right to life that is very you know, that is fundamental right right to life right to live we can say right to live each and every citizen of india they want to live even the lower section of the people even the weaker section the section of the people even disabled the people they want to live in the society rich and influential people muscle powered people they have not only not only these muscle powered and rich people want to live even the weaker sections of the society even the lower sections of the people they want to live in our country they want to live in our country definitely they want to be in our country so uh, in the, uh, what the constitution says that the uh, constitution says that uh, the part that is our fundamental right which is our fundamental right to live even the poor people in lower sections of the people disabled people uh, or scheduled caste or scheduled tribal whoever may be they were citizen of india they want to live uh, in our society that is a fundamental right moreover 
so uh, we want to live let others live we want to live in our society at the same time let others live live and let others live live and let live uh, in, uh, we may say that live and let live it means that we want to live in the society at the same time let others to live in the society live and let live so uh, right to live this work is right you know that work is uh, many work is uh, even in now also in many work is uh, they did not know about they did not know about they did not know about their rights work is uh, even now also they were not aware about the aware aware about their rights which are their rights they, they did not know about their rights the work is they have many rights they get the fair wages they will get minimum wages they will be not in delay their works then the low working wages low working wages and the low wages that will be not more to implement it. and so that more of safety measures safety measures that is also important there. so that you can try to understand that these all these laws why these kinds of laws that will be implemented in our country because these laws that will protect the people so that they can get the then not only they will get the social justice then not only they will get the social justice otherwise they won't get the social justice if they need social justice uh, these uh, laws that will protect them if that laws will protect them then not only they can live freely and independently without any kind of exploitation if these laws that will not uh, protect them definitely the rich people and the influential people and other people they may definitely exploit the poor sections of the people these these laws that protect these poor lower sections of the people so i hope that you understood this i'm going to write up the sections uh, so you uh, i think that you understood about the social justice law uh, what is the importance of law law that protect protect all sections of the society even weaker sections next to social justice what social justice what is social justice sir social justice uh, it means that uh, give uh, equality to all people so all sections of the people should be protected they will get all kinds of rights these are we if we provide all kinds of rights to these uh, all sections of the people satisfy all their rights definitely social justice uh, that is uh, protecting our countries if the government uh, if we can say that our government uh, provided those social justice to people it means that our government will give proper uh, importance to all sections of the people lower sections of the people higher sections of the people uh, poor sections of the people they all these sections of the people they will be safeguarded by our government they protect our government so that they will and say that they, our government they provide justice to all social justice that is social justice provide justice to all that is nothing but social justice so that i hope that you understood this topic very well i am going to wind up the session thank you children